Vibrato. Why is it not showing up? There's a reason for that. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to prove to you that your voice can have vibrato, like right now. I'm going to give you a quick tip to get it to show up in any song, and I'm going to tell you the permanent fix to make it part of your beautiful styling tool selection. Let's go. Hey there, I'm Kim Snyder, master vocal coach, vocal repair expert, and creator of the Voice Club Method, the only singing method that is based solely on the current anatomical and neurological science about our voice. And a few extra things we proved that science hasn't even gotten around to. The lie about vibrato is that you either have it or you don't. Some people are born with it, some people just never get it. But that's just not the way the voice works. It would be like telling a kid, you're never going to be a basketball player because your legs look too short to me. Well, I'm not a big basketball fan, but I do have eyes and I've seen plenty of not so tall players playing basketball. So why do we believe that lie? Well, because over 95% of all singing advice that we hear today is grounded in theories that have been completely disproven by science. And the other 5% out there, well, they're based on the science that was known over 50 years ago. And I'm not judging. I wouldn't know any different either if it weren't for the unique opportunity to have my voice completely destroyed twice by different doctors and to have the world's top vocal surgeon tell me that science has no precedent for me to ever even make a gravelly sound again. But what I learned in recovering my voice twice is that your voice can do way more than even the current science knows. And we've been proving it in hundreds of singers ever since. So let's put this myth about not having vibrato to bed, shall we? Here's the real reason you don't have vibrato. We have to look at how vibrato actually works in the body. There are two groups of vocal muscles that control everything your little vocal cords do. And when there's just barely enough pressure to hold those vocal cords barely still against the air that comes up out of your breathing tube, those little beautiful vocal folds wiggle. And that wiggle is heard as a vibrato. Did you know that vibrato is completely unique to you? Everybody has a natural vibrato. For some, it's really fast. For some, it's really slow. And we're not talking about that big classical vibrato. That is a forced vibrato, and that is something that is put on, kind of like other styling tools that we learn and choose to put in place. But every voice does have a natural vibrato that you should be able to control and use at will wherever you want. So why is it not showing up? The problem is not in here. The problem is in what I call the brain singing database. This is everything you've ever believed, whether you were formally taught it or not, everything you've ever believed, every piece of advice you've ever taken about how to sing. Fact is because they were not based in anything that gels with how your body actually works. At best, they work here and there. They work on one song or a part of a song or sometimes they show up in some songs, but they never work all the time. And we're kind of left with the feeling that it must be me. It must be my voice isn't good enough. It must be I just not talented enough. That is just not true because at The Voice Club, we have definitively proven if we can detach your brain singing database long enough to give it some physical proof of what your vocal machine can actually do, and we can begin to build a new singing database, all of a sudden, everything that your voice could always do is completely unleashed. And then that's just the starting point of what we can start to build in your voice. It's pretty crazy. So let's get to the proof, shall we? I want you to say the word now. And I want you to say it in a comfortable speaking voice. Just go now, 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 now. When you do this, I want you to start to pay attention for what kind of area the tone is in that your body chooses to say the word now. It's going to put you in a really comfortable place automatically. Your body's freaking amazing. So if I go now, 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 I'll find a note somewhere in that neighborhood that is comfortable for me and yours will be unique to you as well. So just say the word, say it comfortably until you pinpoint a tone, pick a note somewhere in that general direction. Now from that place, we're going to hold out the word now and we're going to hold it out until it naturally starts to fade on its own. Okay, we're not trying to hold this out super long. We're only going to hold it out so that we can get to the point where the muscle naturally backs off a little bit. And we're going to see if the wiggle happens. It may not but let's find out. Now, 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 now. One of two things is gonna happen when you do this. When we get down to the point where it's just fading away, either a little wiggle is gonna start to happen, 
or it's not going to happen at all. So which happened for you? Now, was there a little wiggle? Did it show up once or twice or keep going? Yay. If it didn't, we're going to give it a little bit of help. We're just going to put a little pebble into the water and make it ripple a little bit. We're just going to do that by a gentle kind of bounce. Now, now that is a really gentle forced vibrato, which is actually the same approach we get the big classical vibrato out of that tends to take over like a giant bully and then we have a hard time getting rid of it. And there's another video for that. But the first step is to put the body in the condition it needs to allow the vibrato to happen. We're doing that by finding a comfortable note and we're holding it out a long time until that vocal muscle goes, okay, uh, eventually this is going to end. So I'm just going to back off and back off. And as you start to feel that kind of starting to slip away on you, that's where you're going to put in that little wiggle. Okay. Either it'll show up on its own. Sometimes it'll start on its own. It'll go away, but you can get it to show back up by just saying, yes, I mean this. Now, now that in itself is not a beautiful usable vibrato, but it is the first step to providing the proof to your singing database that, uh, yeah, I can do vibrato. Okay. Because at the end of the day, it's not about this. It's really a lot more about this. Now, the more we repeat this exercise over and over and over a lot, your singing database has been there for eons. We need a lot of proof to get it to start allowing this to happen in song. So do this all the time. Hold out a comfortable note, put a little wiggle on the end of it. Now is an ugly wiggle, but it's still a wiggle. If you need to do that, that's fine. And then as it allows that, I want you to clean that up a little bit. Now, and if it allows that, great. We can back off from that a little bit. Now, and, and in that process, the first thing that has to happen is for the brain to say, oh, wait, you're doing that, so you must be able to do that. So wait a minute, now I have to check that data that tells me you can't do that. And it's going to argue amongst itself. At the same time, we're retraining the vocal muscle to do what it needs to do to jumpstart that natural vibrato in your song. As soon as you try this, I want you to post in the comments and tell me how quickly did it show up and how much did you have to give it a jumpstart? Let me know because next I'm going to show you how to get it to show up in a song for you. Now, the reason your vibrato has not been showing up is one of two things. Either there is too much muscle squeeze going on when you sing that it does not allow the conditions to exist in order for that nice, lovely little wiggle to happen, which needs to be really relaxed and free of outside tension or strain. Or it could be the opposite extreme. And this is true for most of my worship singers. We're so used to singing light and breathy that that vocal muscle has never really become trained or engaged and doesn't know it needs to jump in. And if we don't have muscle to stabilize the vocal cords in the right way, those vocal folds cannot be in the position that they need to be in in order for that wiggle to happen either. Is your voice capable of doing this? Yeah, like this second. We just need to move what's up here out of the way and we need to build the habit to put this in the right conditions for it to exist. Now, how do we get this to show up in a song? Well, the fastest and most permanent way is to completely retrain our brain singing database and unleash that voice. And I'll tell you how you can do that in a minute. But the number one thing you want to do is stop following any other tricks, any other vocal advice that you've tried before, which is that 95% of the singing advice that's out there, because that will only work sometimes. It'll leave you frustrated. It'll show up sometimes. Then you go to sing that same song again, and then it's not there and you don't understand why. Always remember, it's not your voice's fault. It's what's up here that's in the way. So don't follow any other singing advice on vibrato. It's just going to make this much more temporary and sporadic. But here's what you can do. Identify where you want to have vibrato in the songs that you're going to sing. It's best to have this written down someplace. Chances are it's going to be on a note that's on the end of a sentence. To give yourself even a better chance, make sure it's in a place where you have a long time to hold that note. Then you're going to practice what I gave you to have the vibrato show up in the first place. Just say that word. So if the word is stay, I'm going to stay. Well, then maybe I'm saying I want to stay. If you're an airy breathy singer, as soon as you put H on anything, by the way, H is the singer's enemy. As soon as you put that H on there, you have literally capped the knees of the anatomical process that needs to happen to have vibrato. It cannot show up. 
So you've got to take that H out of there. Stay. It needs to get relaxed. It needs to get light, but it cannot get breathy because H closes the door for all good vocal possibilities. Now, I'm not saying you can't sing breathy. Breathy is a styling tool. But when we do it professionally, there is a way to do it so that it does not undermine your vocal strength or any of the other vocal tools that you want to put in place to color a song with. And I'll give you a hint. It's never at the end of a word, ever. And for this reason, stay, sing it, and let it get less and less and less and less. And when it's still hanging on, you do not hear any H underneath it, give it a little wiggle. Stay. Get used to the wiggle, then begin to clean up the wiggle a little bit. Practice that wiggle over and over and over so the body remembers, oh, that's right. That's how we do that. I haven't been allowed to do that in forever. I almost forgot. The more you practice it, and if you do it exactly like I told you to do it, the more you do it, the quicker it's going to show up for you. One important thing to remember is when you're going to jumpstart your vibrato, that means you're going to put the wiggle in to remind the voice how it feels to do that little wiggle. Always only do that when you have really light pressure. That means you're not singing super strong, not big volume, okay? Because then we're going to teach the bully volume to show up that I'm trying to help a bunch of other people get rid of. You don't want that habit. Don't build it. Only do this when the voice is nice and relaxed. When you hold on a note, you begin to feel it fading away. That is your golden opportunity to go ahead and jumpstart your little wiggle if you need to. Wouldn't it be cool if you knew how to unleash everything else that your voice could already do and you knew actually how to prove it was there and to assess it for yourself? And might we even hope to be able to master our own voices? <laughs> it's absolutely possible. Within 30 days, you could be seeing amazing things from your voice. I call it the 30-day Restart Your Vocal Engines Challenge. It's four weeks of specific training and vocal exercises and brain training to build that new singing database, unlock what's already in your voice, and to teach you how to master it for yourself. Go to thevoiceclub.com to find out more about the 30-day Restart Your Vocal Engine Challenge take it. You'll be glad you did. You will learn so much. I want to hear how it's going with you bringing your vibrato out. We've got a free Facebook group. You can ask any questions. I will give you all the free advice I possibly can. Link for that is in the description. I'd love to see you there. Stop blaming your voice. It can do incredible things. Try this out and don't just do it once or twice. I mean, commit to it. We've got a bunch of old stuff in here that has to move out of the way in order to allow this to do what it was born to do, baby. And always require proof, like you do with everything else in your life. Smart singers ask questions and demand answers. So become one and get out there and sing.